Let's talk about span filtering for traces, generally available in all editions of Grafana 10.1. So, what is span filtering for traces and what problem does it solve? Well, with traces, as we know, organizations can quickly follow a chain of events through a system to gain a more holistic view of their systems and to be better equipped to fix issues as they arise. Moreover, the adaption and adoption of distributed tracing can be a key piece of a mature observability strategy. However, some teams find it hard to get started with distributed tracing, so we've been focused on making it a lot easier to find the information you need and to filter out the information that you do not want to see. So how does it work? Let me show you. So right here in front of us, we have the trace view opened in a local instance of Tempo. And this is the span filtering section in front of us. So the main idea here is that you can easily find the spans within your trace that you are most interested in, the ones of particular interest. You can easily search for spans from a particular service or with a particular name, and they will be highlighted in the trace view for you. Now, if you also want to search perhaps for a trace of a particular duration, you can also enter in that duration here. It can be greater than a certain time period or it can be in between. You can also search for spans that do not contain a certain name. So in this case, only one span actually contains HTTP post. So this makes it a lot easier to find the information you're looking for and essentially to filter out the information that you're not that interested in. Perhaps you want to understand why a particular trace is taking longer than the rest or taking longer than usual. Span filtering makes that quite easy for you. Or if you want to search for a particular tag, such as the host, we can see that two of our spans have the host tag. Do we want to search for a particular host tag value? We can also do that and break it down even further, making it easier for you to find the traces that you are most interested in. You can filter through the traces quite easily. And even if you are just looking to find something very simple and don't want to use too many filters, you can do that quite easily. Span filtering allows you to add one or more filters, as many as you would like, essentially. And the more filters you add, the more specific are the spans that you are filtering. So let's say, for example, you want to find spans that have an error. Let's find the status tag. So every span has a status tag, so this is not very helpful, but we want to find the ones in error. So we hit the error button, and now you can see that we have three particular spans that are in error. This greatly reduces the time necessary to find the spans that you believe should be fixed. However, what if you have thousands of spans within your trace view? Filtering through them or scrolling down through your list of spans may be cumbersome or time consuming. So what you could do is you can flip this button right here, the show matches only button. And what it will do is it will filter out all of the spans across your traces that do not match your filtering criteria. In this case, we are left simply with the three spans that we are most interested in, the spans that are in error. Thank you for watching. And if you want to learn more about span filtering, please check out the docs or even a blog post that we have, we have recently made, which goes through span filtering in more detail. Thank you.